Hi, I'm Jeff Hill. Welcome to Enthusiast. Lamborghini has produced some of the most incredible 12-cylinder cars on the road. What many people don't realize is they also made some incredible 8-cylinder cars like this, the Lamborghini Yelpa, one of only 410 ever made, named after a Spanish breed of fighting bulls, true Lamborghini tradition. It's a very low production Lamborghini. It's my own personal car. I've had it for three years. And i got to tell you, I was awfully nervous about buying it because why the low production numbers? It turned out that Lamborghini, when this car was being produced, was in financial turmoil. So prospective buyers weren't sure if they would be able to service their car. It's a fantastic car. It's reliable, it's fun, and it's one of the few cars that has a removable roof. But the heart of this car is back here. It's 3.5 liter, mid-mounted, transversely positioned V8. 255 horsepower, 231 pound-feet of torque. It sounds like a vintage Grand Prix car. It's absolutely exceptional. This car is a real milestone for me. I was on tape years ago suggesting to my brothers that by my 30th birthday, I would own an Italian exotic. And on my 30th birthday, I was able to get this car. But the love for this car is also a family affair. My wife, Astrid. Well, I have had the opportunity to drive it and hearing the engine roar behind you and just the ease of driving it and experiencing it behind the wheel is certainly a pleasure. But um, as many times as we've had the opportunity to sell it for a new wardrobe for myself, I think we're going to keep this as a member of the family. Well, it's a rare treat to get to drive one of these cars, so hop in, let's take it for a spin. Ergonomically, this car is very interesting. It's very 80s, 70s even, because this car was an evolution of a Lamborghini design. The shifter is quite low, the steering wheel is quite high, but once you're used to it, it's actually very, very nice. The car has got a very interesting gearing on it. 255 horsepower by today's standard isn't a lot, but when you punch it, it just sounds so good. The car gets up and moves, I gotta tell you, it's just a really nice combination of good looks and drivability. And it's a quick car. I've had this car for a while and I recently got its big brother, the Countach, and I always said that I'd have to get rid of this car because the Countach would be so much more. Every time I drive this car though, it just charms me. It's such a neat car and the rarity is a bonus to me, not a pitfall. For enthusiasts, I'm Jeff Hill. Thanks for watching.